In a statement attributed to the Greek philosopher Socrates, he maintained that the unexamined life is not worth living. It's not a tenet that most people today seem to embrace. Blissful ignorance appears to be the norm. Unthinking embrace of poorly thought out policies, knee-jerk reactions to stimuli, seemingly automatic spewing forth of bigotry, vehement hate speech, and expressions of fear, whether justifiable or not. In my opinion, it comes down to that people don't know what they believe, and many of these people wouldn't have a clue about it if they paid cash for one. This may be a reason for the decline of the republic for which we are supposed to stand. So then I ask you, what do you believe? I believe it is inappropriate to ask someone to do something that I wouldn't be willing to undertake myself. Therefore, I put forward a list of things I believe, and more importantly, why. First of all, I believe in the deep-down inherent goodness of human beings. Some days, though, I wonder if this attribute is buried far too deeply in many people. I make a concerted effort to let my goodness out, which I will readily admit is not always what it should be, in any sort of objective sense. Next, I try to maintain a positive attitude and a can-do spirit as much as I possibly can. Since I've been suffering from clinical depression for a number of years now, this is not, as you may gather, an effortless task, and the effort it requires is at times extremely difficult to muster. And yet, I can only do what I'm able to, and persistence in the face of such an overwhelming force can, under some circumstances, be considered nearly heroic, and at other times be considered thoroughly insane. To mash and misquote Bogart, you pays you money, and you takes you frame of reference. I believe in the capability and possibility of the cowardly, sniveling, eye-for-the-main-chance human rising above the lizard-brain instinct for self-preservation and acting in a selfless, altruistic fashion, putting others' needs before himself. Occasionally, this has been shown in times of great stress, sadness, and carnage, such as the man in the San Bernardino shooting in 2015, shielding a co-worker with his own body, taking the bullets the shooters meant for her. Acts such as this are documented every day and represent the highest form of courage that I can enumerate. I believe in the necessity of exercising judgment and critical thinking in life, examining every situation to determine what is right, what is merely expedient, and what is flat out wrong. Expediency is most often the easiest way to go. Don't rock the boat, don't make waves, don't bite the hand that feeds you. But expediency eats away at your integrity, your very soul, and makes it that much easier to slide toward what is wrong in order to just get along. There are times when it's necessary to stand your ground, draw a line in the sand, and say this far and no farther. The ensuing battle may destroy you, but it can go down in living memory, rivaling the tales of the Spartan 300 at Thermopylae, Horatius at the Bridge, or the French Foreign Legion 
at the Battle of Cameroon. I believe in the cardinal virtues of honor, loyalty, friendship, and integrity. Don't break your word once you give it. Never stop looking out for your buddies and leave no one behind. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. I believe in the Constitution of the United States, the separation of church and state, the principle that freedom of religion necessarily implies freedom from religion, the Declaration of Independence's assertion that all men, and women too, uh, the masculine plural implies the universal plural, are created equal, and are endowed by their creator, uh, Jefferson's nonspecific deist noun, meaning exactly what you interpret it to mean, with certain unalienable rights, and that among them are the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Mind you, he does not say that happiness is an unalienable right, only the pursuit of it. The acquisition of it is up to the individual. I believe in love. Monogamous, multi-amorous, serial or whatever permutations or combinations imaginative and creative minds can come up with. With love we are truly human, striking that ineffable spark of the divine within us. Without it we are barren, sterile, enclosed futilely within ourselves. I believe in not killing someone else unless it is necessary for the defense of yourself or others. I believe that hatred and demonization of those of a different race, a different religion, a different heritage, or a different gender or gender identity diminishes us all. I believe that the three pounds of wetware between our ears and the uses we can put it to are the key differences that separate us from the other animals on this whirling mud ball. I also believe, if we put our minds and hearts to it, we as a race can reach out into the infinity of the universe and can, as was said in the poem High Flight, reach out our hand and touch the face of God. Whoever or whatever you conceive him, her, it, or them to be. Uh, this statement should be sufficient for the nonce. And a final author's note. This essay was written as best I can place it in early 2016. The mention of San Bernardino, which was in December of 2015, would so date it. In retyping it, I made a few minor edits and amplifications to the text, uh, but it changed almost nothing. This is Observation Al, and I'm still Al Bouchard. Music